Welcome to another episode of Creative Cooking. I'm your host, David Santos. Today we'll be making Italian sausage rolls made with high quality sausage and puff pastry. It's great for parties and it's real easy to do. So let's get started. All right, so you need to put yourself in the same frame of mind as you would if you were making a meatloaf. It has all the usual suspects, with one exception. You'll be throwing in some Parmesan cheese in addition to those breadcrumbs. But before you can do all of that, you'll have to remove the sausage from the casing. That's very easy to do. Just run a sharp knife right along the length of the sausage and pull out the meat. Very simple. Again, this is about four lengths about that size, totaling one and a half pounds. I just want to throw in one one other word of advice. Don't try to do this with a spoon or a whisk. Get your hands in there and start mixing. That's what they were made for, so use them. Next thing you want to do is you want to make a glaze. Uh, actually, yeah, I guess you could call it a glaze. Call it whatever you want. This is what you're going to brush on top of the puff pastry to give it a nice golden color and help it brown. Just whisk those eggs up very, very well and then run them through a sieve. That's right. You want to strain them because there will be some white stuff in there. There will be the white part of the egg that will not be quite beaten as much as you would like it to be. And there's this other umbilical type cord type thing between the yolk and the rest of the white. You want to get that out. It makes it easy to brush. And of course, when you're done with that, you want to add a little bit of water to thin it out. You can use milk as well. This will also help you to brush it on onto the pastry uh, very easily. Next, you'll want to prepare your work surface. In this case, I'm using a glass top stove. That's very handy. You just want to put a little bit of flour down on the, on the work surface itself and a little bit on top so you can use the rolling pin. And what you're trying to achieve here is you want to just elongate that, that sheet of pastry. You'll have two of these sheets, okay? But what you really want to do here is just elongate them to the point where you'll be able to get three pastry rolls out of one sheet. So you'll have a total of six sheets that you'll cut into thirds, but I'll show you why I'm doing it this way for a reason. You will cut that into thirds, so you'll have a total of six rolls when you're done.
forget to brush down some water or some of the, the egg and water mixture to help seal the pastry. And when you're done rolling these up, of course, you want to place them seam side down. Okay, that's very important. And uh, just set them aside until they're ready to go. Working with pastry, it's very, very gooey and sticky when it mixes with egg and any form of moisture. Uh, just use a bench scraper and clean it up. That's one of the beautiful things about these glass top stoves is that they're very smooth. So you just scrape up the heavy stuff. Don't try to mop it up yet. Scrape it up first, then wipe it down with a damp, damp towel and then a paper towel and you're back to a nice clean thing. All right, so now we're gonna lay these out these rolls, we'll, we're going to cut them first, but we're going to lay them out on parchment paper and cut them to bite size or cut them to thirds or quarters or whatever size you want. If you're going to bring these to a party, you'll be, say you're having guests over or it's, it's a Super Bowl and you're making these for Super Bowl, which these are great, um, then you might want to make them bite size. So there's plenty to go around. And when you're done with that, just put some egg wash on top so they bake up nice and golden and shiny. You can also sprinkle on some thyme or other herbs. That adds color more than anything else, but it does look nice. So by all means, spread away and sprinkle away. This is how they look when they're done. Remember, you'll be doing two batches like this. So when you're cutting up your, your pieces, just make sure you split them up so you can do two batches. And then you're ready to plate up and eat up. Now imagine this with a little bit of marinara sauce on the side. That would make it even better. So be creative. Until next time, bon appetit.